All right, you guys, we are ringing the bell on a whole new week of WFAA Academy. More kids going back to school this week, even college kids. Is it still appropriate to call them kids? I don't know. Uh, anyway, we are here to help all of you, all of our families, navigate through this very uh, uncertain time, right? We're sort of evolving day to day. So on today's class schedule, making sure kids don't go hungry even before the first bell rings, what one school district is doing. Also, teachers turning to avatars to make learning fun. We're looking into the world of Bitmoji classrooms. Oh, boy. Uh, and also giving you a chance chance to share yours. So parents, as if you don't have enough on your plate with getting your kids back to school, right? Uh, if you're the parent of a middle schooler or a high schooler, you got a lot to think about when it comes to college planning. So Alan Anderson is the director of strategic partnerships and talent from Education Open Doors. He's also a former middle school principal and uh, he's got the inside scoop, really the trips the the trips, the tips and the tricks to help make college planning easier. Alan, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me, Sonia. All right, so let's just get right into it. Okay, if I'm a parent of a teenager, when do I need to help, you know, begin this sort of planning or preparation for college and a career? Yeah, it's a great question. When we think about college and career planning, you know, we typically think about the junior and senior year of high school. As a former middle school principal, you know, this was a misconception that was addressed pretty regularly uh, back in school. College and career planning actually does not start in high school. It begins in middle school. So as early as eighth grade, kids are making really pivotal decisions about their futures that can have an impact for years and years to come. And so that's what we do with Education Open Stores. We equip kids with that bigger why behind school and do it early so that they can advocate for themselves in their futures moving forward. So Alan, I think, you know, some parents might hear you and go like, oh my gosh, I'm the parent of a high school student. We didn't start, you know, preparation in middle school. So am I behind? What do I need to do to catch up? What would you tell them to do aside from number one, calm down? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be number one, uh, but it's definitely not too late. And so uh, some parents, depending on how old their student is, may need to be more urgent about the catch up than others. Um, a few things I'd recommend doing is one, getting informed on AP, um, IB, dual credit courses, just because those have implications for college credit. You wanna ensure that you understand what your high schools have to offer. Uh, the other one I would I really, really hone in on would be around GPA. In high school, every class counts and every class matters. And so encouraging your child to take every single uh, day, every class seriously. I'd also recommend them taking a college and career inventory test just so they can hone in on those areas that they feel strongest in and use that to guide their high school experience. And then finally, I'd also recommend um, SAT and ACT prep courses. Uh, Khan Academy and Kaplan actually have free ones online that I would recommend checking out. Okay, I think that's all good information. How do you do all of this effectively during a pandemic? Especially, you know, I'm thinking of like scholarship purposes, right? Um, so many extracurriculars and, and the stuff that kids might get scholarships in have either been postponed or canceled or, you know, they're not playing the sport or they're not, you know, uh, involved in the theater competition or whatever. So, you know, how are we navigating this new normal while still trying to do all that stuff? Yeah, Sonia, it's really difficult just being uh, virtual right now. Uh, but you know, the good news is you know, we're, we're all in this together, and that means we need to lean on each other for additional support uh, during this time. And so I would recommend a few things. Um, number one, guidance counselors in high schools and in middle schools uh, can be a major help. And so schedule, using those office hours to schedule time with them one-on-one, uh, -on -one, just to get very clear on grades, on GPA, on class rank, and extracurricular so that you know your child is equipped and ready for what's next and able to pivot when needed. Um, another thing that has come up has been you know college visits. So obviously many parents right now might feel uncomfortable uh, going out to universities to take their kids on tours. And so I'd recommend uh, trying out the virtual 
tour options online. Most colleges have those up and all you need to do is uh, research the university that you're most interested in uh, at times schedule that tour, but other times they're just open to you at your, your leisure whenever you are uh, ready. And then the final piece, I would just say for um, students at home, being sure to uh, find a trusted study group. Uh, find a small group of students who can support you in test prep and just getting prepared for those big exams uh, to fill out scholarships together. Uh, those can be a really big help, especially in this virtual period.